Opera often has a reputation for being stuffy and serious, not something you'd expect third graders to listen to. But, but sometimes it's never too early to learn and expose yourself to something new. And that is the philosophy behind an organization, a Madison-based organization, that introduces kids to a very special art form. It's called Opera for the Young. <laughs> Rest easy, everyone. The sun planet is safe. The power-hungry queen of the night thought she could take it over, but the talented students at Kennedy Elementary School defeated her with their beautiful voices. The Magic Flute by Mozart is a delightful story, complete with a handsome prince, a lovely maiden in need of a rescue, a magic flute, even a giant dragon. But opera is not the kind of music that most youngsters are used to. The magic is just that, though. It's such a natural combination. And Susan, we've found that opera in particular has all the ingredients that are compelling to children. It's a wonderful, vivid story. There is a lot of movement. Diane Barton Eady is the artistic director of Opera for the Young, an organization that brings professional opera into elementary schools. Students appear on stage in chorus and cameo roles and perform right along with the professional singers. It's a complete show. It's not just scenes. It's not just an aria. It's a total show. It's, they're, they're telling a story with music. It's what we emphasize to the children, that it's accessible to you because it's simply storytelling. A lot of the kids are just waiting. They cannot wait to have it. So they're, they're thrilled and they just wait all year. But for the kids who this is their first opportunity, they're often wowed by it. The cast members are all professional opera singers. Most of them have graduate degrees in music performance, vocal and piano. And they've all had some years in the professional world. Singing at a professional opera company and singing with Opera for the Young are similar, but the, the difference is the children. And that really is the best part of this job. And that is the big difference, is having them be the most gracious and thankful audience ever. Getting to see how quickly kids will embrace something that's well, truthfully a little bit odd <laughs> is, is wonderful and they just, you know, go in, you know, full throttle and so it's a lot of fun. They may not understand all the words, but the kids love learning something new. There's a lot of work that goes on in the classroom before the actual performance and the professionals know that this audience is the future of their art. In the day of technology, a lot of people don't even want to leave to go to the movies anymore, much less to go to an opera. So the fact that we have the opportunity to come out here and potentially excite the next generation is invaluable. It's a true gift to be able to do what we do because a lot of people just don't know how and think it's amazing. It is amazing. How do they hit those notes? You see some of the kids cover their ears? <laughs> Opera for the Young only charges schools less than half of the fee that it costs to put on the performance. The organization needs the support of the community through fundraising. And you can take your kids to see Opera for the Young for free this weekend. On Saturday, Opera for the Young will perform the Magic Flute in Promenade Hall at the Overture Center. It's part of this weekend's Children's Arts Festival. The performance begins at 10 a.m. It is 45 minutes and all ages are welcome. I love the, the faces on the kids. Oh, they love it. Yeah, they really They do. really love yeah, it. Check it out this Saturday. Yeah, I'm going to take Matthew. I'm going to take my son. All right. We'll open up the talkback mailbag when we come back.